Here we have a demonstration rig that mimics a typical heating system. We've got the expansion vessel connected online, we've got the pressure relief valve, and we've got a hand pump to mimic the pressure created by the expanding water. The system is pressurized and the expansion vessel controls the pressure in the system to about two, two and a half bar, depending on the expansion vessel pressure. So we can see the pressure coming up to its set point, and then no matter how much I pump, the expanding water is accommodated in the expansion vessel. If we mimic a failure of the expansion vessel and isolate that, any expanding water causes the pressure to rise to the pressure set at the pressure relief valve. If you look at the pressure gauge again, it comes up to just about three bar and the pressure relief valve does its job and releases the excess pressure. So instead of the expanding water going to the expansion vessel, the expanding water goes and gets released to drain. If that happens often enough, then the boiler will eventually lose all of its pressure and lock out on low pressure. That then creates a problem because the boiler's not working. On a cold day, the householder will then phone the installer and say, the boiler's not working, you need to come and fix it. And then the installer is under that pressure to come out and fix the problem there and then. This is where hot and detects comes into it. With the alarm fitted, onto the tundish. When the water passes out of the tundish, the alarm goes off, and instead of the phone call going to the installer saying my boiler's not working, the phone call is, oh, I've got an alarm telling me there's something wrong. They've then got a number of days in order to fix it. So for the time being, the householder can simply mute the alarm. That mutes it for 24 hours, giving the installer that time to come out for an appointment rather than an emergency call out, and then fix the problem, whatever's wrong with the system.